welcome back everyone in this video we will create connection between uh, next.js and mongodb database so we will use uh, next.js to create connection with mongodb database for the mongodb database you can use online tool mongodb atlas but i would like to use the mongodb uh, uh, compass which i have okay mongodb i have installed that locally the server app uh, um, the community server of uh, mongodb so i will create connection with that database i will show you okay how to create connection but for mongodb uh, atlas you will just need to change your url so let's start first of all we will create our next.js application then we will create connection with uh, mongodb database so let's move to visual studio code editor so let's move to the terminal and in the terminal i will just write npx create next up at latest so press enter then it will ask from us the project name so we will assign our project name so let's just wait for it so let's assign a name for our project which is i will just assign a name connection this is used project app uh, connection so it says invalid project name name can no longer contain capital e yeah it means we should not insert capital letter just insert typescript no and would you like to use a slint yes would you like to use children css yes would you like to use src directory no and app router yes we are using app router and would you like to customize the default uh, import alias uh, no it means no yeah let's come here now here it is installing our project now so let's wait for the installation so after the installation let's open our project uh, i will just move to a new open a folder and i will just uh, open that connection uh, project now let's move to terminal and install axios and mongoose npm install axios axios is http request and response library and mongoose is used for uh, it is an object data modeling tool for node.js and mongodb press enter to install these two packages so let's run our project let's write npm run div so it will just run our uh, uh, next js app so we can move to this url to open our project let's move and it is loading but let's remove it yeah that's okay okay we will not remove it so it is loading let's wait for the default project this is default next project let's remove this code the default code so far removing that code let's move to app directory in the app first of all i will just delete this pay icon we don't need this one and global css we will delete all the css code just leave the children css directory and come here to layout is okay page.js i will remove the default code and page.js let's move now to our let's remove this also so look at next connection with mongodb so first of all so to create connection with mongodb let's uh, first of all just create a user forum to store a record inside the mongodb database okay we will just insert a record to the database so for that we need to create a, a, a forum okay to insert a record a user record so let's first of all create a forum so here I will just simply write uh, create user and down from that we will have a forum let's just write forum and inside the forum uh, first of all we will have a uh, let's write in a div element we have a label and inside the label this is for name field and down from that we will have an input field for text per name type text placeholder enter name 
and let's copy this code and paste it down this is for email after that we will have here email enter email and down from that we will have a button submit so let's just add a few gentlemen css classes class name max width would be for larger devices and mxo2 it means a margin from right and left side r2 which will bring the items to the center and that is okay just come here and here we will add tailwind css classes i will just pause video for tailwind css classes and design my form so after adding tailwind css classes the result is like this okay it looks, looks like this these are just tailwind css classes that i have added so uh, hey, hey look at just these classes tailwind css classes nothing else so now let's write create two state variable to store the value of input name and email for that we would like to create two state variable name uh, set name default value is an empty string and let's make this component as a uh, client component by default if you are using app router in your next application every game all components are treated as a server component so let's make it as use client so at this directory will make this component as a client component okay if you don't write this use client so then these use state use effect and other events will give you an error to you so now let's update the value of name in email just come here to the name field and right here on change and update the value of set name e dot target so it will store the value of this whatever we are writing in this input field to the name field and same to that let's update the email also set email so it will update the email now when you we press this submit button create user so we would like to call the a function and submit these values to the database to the server side so for that let's create a function const handle submit let's call this function here okay forum on submit handle submit function after calling that let's first of all we will write e dot prevent default so it will prevent the default submission and down from that we would like to use access library to submit our data so let's make this function as asynchronous function and also we would like to wrap our code inside try catch there was any error so console that error to us and here we would like to use await access and or we can just simply write a const response is equal to await keyword uh, let's write access import access so we have imported access now let's write post to post the data where we should post our data so we should post our data to api and let's create the api okay so it means we will post our data let's create um, a folder inside this app directory api by the name of api you should place your server side code inside api folder and inside that let's create another folder by the name of users inside users i will create a file route.js in app router if you are using app directory so you should write your server side code like this so now we can access this users route like this okay just simply we will write just come here and here i would like to write app access.post api slash api slash users so we can access now this route okay route.js inside users so now let's pass the data so to pass the data we will simply write name email and after passing the data now let's create um, 
connection with database so to create connection with database for that we need to create a folder inside our main directory okay the root directory so let's name it lib so we should just create a folder lib by the name of lib so we should move it to the root directory move okay inside lib let's create a file you will name it mongodb connection or we can name it mongoose.js whatever name you assign so just assign a name now let's import first of all mongoose mongoose from mongoose after importing the mongoose now let's create connection so let's create a connection to database we will create connection to database function this is an asynchronous function with us and simply just come here and write here in try catch block await mongoose dot connect and create connection with the we would like process dot env dot mongo url so we will access this mongo url through our dot env file so let's create that env file also so to create that env file we would like to just move back to our dot env so let's move it to root directory and here we will paste mongo let's copy that name url is equal to with the url so url we should if you are using mongodb atlas online tool so you should copy the string of that but if you are using this mongodb compass so you should copy just come here and uh, copy connection string here we will copy the connection string and i will paste that here after that we will assign a database this okay in mongodb compass we can assign the database name here okay connection i would like to create a database name connection right now we don't have connection connection database so i will create that now so now let's access that okay we have access that and we will like to create connection with that now let's write cage block if there was any error so we would like to just console that error so that is simple connection so we can also write console dot log here connected to pb simply like this now let's export it export default connection to database so after creating the connection now let's create a user model okay for mongo database we will create models inside our code so let's create a model folder also so to create a model folder for that simply just come here and we would like to name it models and inside models let's create a user model user.js so inside user model i would like to create a schema for the user so let's simply write first of all import mongoose after importing the mongoose let's create schema for the user const user schema is equal to with new mongoose that schema inside the schema i will assign name we have two fields name the name the type is string for name and we have email the type is string and required this is a required field so it means we will just write required to so after that let's create export it so first of all we will create model const user is equal to mongoose dot models dot user so you should uh, always write this okay it will check if the user was already existed so it will use that if the user was not existed so then we will create a new document mongoose dot uh, model and assign a name which is user and a schema which is user schema that's it
he should write like this now let's export it user so after creating your um, model now let's move back to route.js okay app api route.js so here we will define the route to just submit user to um, the database so for that simply first of all we will import connection database connection to database after importing that now let's import the user model from models so after importing the user model now let's import next response from next server next response okay whenever you would like to just return a response to the client side so we will use this next response now let's just create the post method okay to submit data so for that simply let's write like export we can name it export it asynchronous this is an asynchronous function we will name it this is a post method and we would like to post data so here we will get a request which is an instance of request object now we will use this request to get data first of all let's use try catch block from here to the try catch block let's first of all just call our connection to database this function So after calling this now let's distract name and email from request body so we will just write like this const name and email is equal to await request at json simply this okay we will get name and email so after getting this name and email from uh, request now let's create a new instant sense of user so let's simply write like new user we will just create a new instance of user so equal to new user model and we would like to assign pass name field and email field simply now let's save that okay so to save that await new user dot save we will call save method to save that now let's return a response next response dot json and our response would be like uh, let's return new user also we can return status uh, the status code is like 201 save that so this is the code of okay to save a record inside the database now let's check it okay so just let's move back to our front end refresh this and we will insert a name and let's write a name yosef at gmail.com press create user let's move to console if there was an error so we would be aware of that press create user so after uh, pressing that so just come here and let's come to the database refresh that look at the connection database has been created in users we have yusuf yusuf at gmail.com so to print the response on the user just come here to the page after getting the response i would like to just uh, display that console dot log response let's create a new user Discrete user, so we received this response. Look at data, we received the user and status 201. Where is where can I find that ID? Uh, look at status 201. So that's we have created a new record. Let's refresh this. Look at we have inserted a new record. So that is how we can create connection with the Mongo database. We can also fetch the data, update, and delete the data like this. So it was all about creating connection with database mongo database using next.js and mongo uh, nexus and mongos so this was the front side front end side code just a forum connection with database that env file user okay to create user model and route this is post route that we have submitted a record to the database so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like the video and comment down thanks for watching